making a first meal outdoors cooking right now. This is James. Very good. Uh, is cooking us some hot dogs. And I, as his humble servant, will be taking care of the buns. I'm putting mustard <laughs> on the buns and chips on the plate. He takes care of the fire and the dangerousness. I take care of the plate. but it's all right. We're hoping that the food lives up to the height. As you can see, our beautiful view of the street. If a car loses control, we're pretty much dead. Yeah, we are pretty much dead. We are gone. But that's the risk you take for good food. That's true. So what are you ordering? A steak. It's actually called uh, the Tin Roof Whiskey Steak. Hopefully not heavy on the whiskey. We do have to go back to the campsite. But heavy on the tin roof. But heavy on the tin roof. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So we'll see what happens. We'll right. check back with you in a little bit. Okay, um, we just finished our salad. And um, everybody else got bread. Uh, so... Waitress is very less than fascinating. Um, so there's another girl that came by because our waitress has to come by. God knows how long. Except to refill my perfect tea and make it unperfect again. Um, Master, uh, can we get some bread? That's pretty much how I asked her. She's like, oh, yeah. I almost asked. Well, but she brought the bread, and uh, the waitress had no idea. And she, got bread. And she came over and poured more tea in my tea. Uh, so we're waiting for our food to get here. Everybody else is the bread is gone. <laughs> Everybody else is getting great service, but us. We got these kids over here acting unruly. Yep. <laughs> I think one of them's name is Grace. I'm going to talk to him. Very problematic. So, pretty much all we got. I'm really hoping our food gets here for this time. That's all I got. Post food analysis. Um, James's food is good. My food is not so good. I guess that's the way it is with, uh, with good and evil. It always comes back to hunt. Um, service was less than great. Still left a 20% tip though because that is me aware. Um, so I know how it is when you're busy and you get crazy people. Um, so, um, this will be a forgetful meal, definitely. But, I did get to go to it. Happy. Also, we would like to point out that when we got here, it was very bright outside, and now it's pitch black. We've been here a while. And the people behind us, behind James, got here about 15 minutes after we did. They got their tickets. Three times we did. And cool. there's four of them. Yeah, there's four of them, you know? <laughs> they got their salad before us. Who cares? They got bread way before us. They got bread, and James already finished his salad, and then we got bread. So I saved some of my salad, like a tomato, a slice of tomato and a nugget. But I'm not bitter, I'm cool. Cool with it. I got my sweet tea to go, so. I'm good. Alright. We're back at the campsite at night. And we're about to put together the fire. For the s'mores, of course. <laughs> so, uh, should be pretty good. Um, we're looking forward to s'mores, and we got a really clear sky, right, James? Beautiful sky, stars, nice night. I won't complain as long as I get my s'mores. But we've got great value. <laughs>
We got great value marshmallows and great value graham crackers, which I haven't seen the graham crackers since we've got here. Do we have those? Yes. They're in the car. Okay. We'll go get those. But hey, at least we Here we are. Ready to make the s'mores. Got the fire going. Got our marshmallows. And we got a whole plate of goodies. Yeah. Let's do it. Let us do what it is that we have come here to do to the fire.